Uh, hi, this is Glenn Doreen uh, from Popular Mechanics at CES 2013, and we are uh, we're we're following a bunch of trends here. One of them that I think is. Uh, uh, pretty interesting. It's just emerging is the science of indoor navigation. It's like GPS, but inside buildings. My name is Dave Rothenberg, and I'm director of marketing and partner alliances for Movia. Why don't you tell me what uh, sensors you guys are relying upon? Sure. Well, the accelerometer, magnetometer, and gyroscope together uh, form what we call an IMU or an inertial measurement unit, and uh, that is the basis for dead reckoning. We also use a pressure sensor to determine uh, when you're changing floors within the building uh, and to detect if you're walking upstairs or riding in an elevator. And so the other thing which I, and if you could uh, pull up on here, uh, we're, gonna, we're, we're in the uh, Las Vegas Hotel, formerly the Hilton here, and they have from the, uh, they have the blueprints uh, from the hotel that they're going to use to uh, to accentuate the guidance. Let's bring up uh, the the actual uh, display here. It's kind of interesting, and one of the one of the reasons that we uh, that uh, that these guys use the map matching is that if you're actually it's intelligent enough to know that if you are actually walking towards a wall, uh, obviously that's something that you're you wouldn't do that. It's just basically assuming certain behaviors. And it's going to, um, and look at that, it even, I didn't realize this, it apparently takes into account your, your body, uh, your yes. weight and, uh, and height. Is that right? Very, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Um, one of the inputs to the inertial navigation system is the length of your stride or the length of your step. And um, there's a correlation between step length and height. And so we built a uh, step to speed model that allows us to calculate how fast you're walking based on your step length. And so uh, we asked the user to input their height. Here we're actually going to uh, take the phone, let it guide us up to the sixth floor where uh, there's a suite waiting for us. And uh, Dave here is going to hold it so that I don't crash into anything. But uh, it's going to guide us down the hallway. Let's go. So here you can see it's actually got a full plan of the building in it and it's going to, we're going to go up this ramp here and uh, from what I understand this technology can, uh, I'm not sure that it's programmed to do it right here, but it can sense if you are going upstairs or, or changing, uh, changing direction in a, uh, in, in a fast way and it also apparently it's going to be able to sense that we're in the elevator, which I'm curious to see. Uh, and uh, I, we've been promised some sort of special functionality in the elevator. That's right. So now it says we're on floor one. Uh, Dave's going to hit uh, floor six. It senses we're going up. It says second floor. Third floor. It says we're going to six. Fourth floor. Are we picking anybody up? No, no. We're going to the fifth. And now the sixth. It got it. And now we go. All right. Okay, so now it's detected that we've left the elevator and okay. we're using another technique to augment uh, the inertial navigation. Uh, we're going to use our logo over there on the wall as kind of a location checkpoint. Oh, so this is essentially so how it resets for the next floor, right? Exactly. Okay. Uh, and this is an augmented reality application that's layered on top of the pedestrian navigation. Okay. And you can see we're coming up on an exit here, uh -huh. so it's tracking our position pretty well. Uh -huh. We're a little behind where it thinks we are. All right, so I'm going to actually pick up the pace a little bit. Okay. Taking bigger steps to kind of catch up to where it thinks we are. Okay. Now that we've arrived at our location, we've actually been doing something else in the background that's kind of special. Uh, we've been monitoring your physical activity. Mm -hmm. So we know how much of your time you spent walking, uh, how much of your time you spent standing, uh, and how much of your time you spent riding in the elevator. Mm -hmm. The typical use case would be you're out doing your thing during the day, you come home. Uh, we, our software can actually recognize when you walk through the front door. It'll, it'll be looking for your set-top box. And mm -hmm. when it finds your set-top box wirelessly, um, can transfer uh, seamlessly all your activity monitoring data to the TV. So you get kind of a welcome screen. Um, welcome home, Glenn. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you hit your 10,000 step goal for the day. Or more like, Glenn, you haven't left the couch. Uh, <laughs> really turn off this TV and go outside and do something and, and walk. Um, okay, well, that's, that, that's pretty phenomenal, I got to admit. For, uh, like, like you mentioned, this is existing technology that's out there today. He's using a Galaxy S3. Um, so with a current phone, we can already get a rough guidance to the room. And uh, within a couple of years, uh, we should really see, expect this stuff to potentially rival what we have in GPS uh, outdoors right now. So uh, we'll be watching this segment.